Though it's big, brutal, supercharged ZL1 brothers have made most of the headlines lately, they're obviously not the only V8 Camaros around. Chevy still builds and sells the Camaro SS. And it still has a seriously potent pushrod V8 making 455 horsepower, a number that outdid the Mustang GT until this year, and even now it's only a difference of 5 horsepower. Add in some excellent handling, and you have one of the most compelling V8 sports cars on the market. The example we test drove was in many ways the ideal enthusiast car. It was a well-equipped 2SS model, the top trim level, and the V8 was coupled to a 6-speed manual transmission. It was suspended by GM's Magic Magnetic Ride Control Suspension and came with Chevy's new Redline package, which adds black and red accents all around the car. Altogether, our Camaro came to a not-so-cheap $47,530. Editor-in-Chief Greg Migliori, the Chevy Camaro is a lot of car. I kept thinking that as I peered around the blocky pillars and looked out over the long hood. But that's a good thing. It's muscular yet also sophisticated, agile and powerful. I love the turbo 4 Chevy is offering in the Camaro, but every time I drive an SS like this one, I realize that's the way I'd go if I were in the market. A V8 Camaro is just irresistible. The manual transmission has long throughs, but it's precise, and the clutch action is nicely calibrated. It's an engaging, rewarding drive experience. The Camaro feels good in corners, the chassis is tight, but not crazy abusive, and it's miles ahead of the last generation's dynamics. The car has a buff look. It's a subtle change compared with its predecessor, though I think it's better tailored. The creases just seem to hang in a better, more confident manner and the front end sort of sneers at you. My only complaint is the interior is a little plain. The materials don't feel great, but the layout and the design is smart. Overall, the modern Camaro is in a good place. It's well-rounded, attractive and compelling.